Chuck it down there. There you go, mate. You're gonna go up and then come back down, aren't you? You're seriously gonna. Uh -huh. You are. Uh, this is what happens when you set their intelligence to, to zero or one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Squishy B here, and today we are checking out Sheltered. Now, Sheltered is a game which has been in early access for a while, but it's only just been gone sort of live, essentially. Version 1.0. Hey, we are officially a game, I guess. Well, it's always been a game, but. Now it's a real game. Well, it was a real game before. Does that make sense? I don't know. Early access really confuses me. It's kind of like play to pay our game that isn't finished, but was still a game. Anyway, so what is Sheltered all about? Well, Sheltered is like a post-apocalyptic survival management game, I guess is the best way to describe it. Kind of like Faster Than Light or maybe Star Command, if you've played that on iOS, but in a post-apocalyptic setting. Basically, you're a family trying to survive, and you need to manage things such as getting resources, crafting, expanding your vault, I guess. A lot of people have likened it to Fallout uh, Shelter, I think it was called. I never played it, but um, apparently there's sort of similar elements to it, uh, that there as well. So, it's developed by Team17, which are the guys that bought you The Escapist, and another game series which I spent a lot of time on as a kid, and that's, of course, is Worms. So, Worms, I'm getting Worms World Party, all those fun ones there. So... Anyway, let's let's dig in and let's take a look at, um, again, as usual, this game falls into our sort of category of sort of under $20 Steam games. I think right now it's like $14.99 US. Uh, it was on sale the other day. I'll probably go on sale again in the next couple of weeks, as they usually do. But uh, yeah, definitely um, check it out. See if it's something that you enjoy. And um, let's, let's dive in with episode one and get it started. So the first step is to create your family. And basically... As I said, you're sort of, it's a family management game, so you have two parents and two kids and a pet. And so we just need to go through now and create those. We have some sort of options for gender and hair and, and some stats, as we'll see. So, of course, our, uh, we'll start with our dad. He's going to be called, of course, Dingus. He will be male, top color. Uh, we'll go with a green top, bottom color. I want him to, I, I really want to create a, um, a real Aussie battler type family a couple of real aussie blokes because i mean this game kind of is like australia <laughs> they're trying to survive out in the wilderness just there's a lot more ah there we go that's what we're talking about get the wife beater on there get some ripped pants yeah he's got to look pretty tough so he's got the gun that that'll work for sure hair color hair color is fine but we kind of want to, we want like a scraggy, yeah there we go scraggy beard and mane that looks fantastic all right so skin color We'll go dark, but not too dark there. Nice Australian sun. Okay, so uh, with the stats, we've got intelligence, charisma, perception, dexterity, and strength. And I don't think it tells you any more details, really. But essentially, I'm going to want my old man. I'm going to flick through these stats preset. He's going to be the tough one in the family. So I want his strength to be super high. I'm going to go strength 10. He's going to be troubled. He's going to be a troubled old man. He's not very bright. Uh, his charisma is pretty low as well. But when it comes to running and punching things, he's fantastic. That's exactly what you want from an old man. We also have some traits to flick around with. We don't really have any more information than, I guess, what it means. Obviously, like, small leader means that he's going to um, eat less food. Courageous would be something to do with being courageous, obviously. Deep sleeper. I'm going to take the deep sleeper trait. I'm not sure whether that means he sleeps longer or he doesn't need to sleep as long. Maybe he recovers his sleep a lot faster. You'll find early game sleeping is a real problem. That's what I found. I have played this uh, previously. I got up to about day five or six just to check it out, play with the controls and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, I know a bit about it there. All right, so now we need uh, we need a mum, and I guess that one's going to be an easy one. Let's call her Sheila. There we go. So she's going to have a green top too. We're all going to have green tops. Uh, body type, something real. There we go. That that's good. You know, the single on as well. You got to have some ripped pants as well. Uh, yep, that's perfect. Head type. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The Aussie Akubra. Now we're talking. Okay, so... What can we do... What do we want our mum to be? I, I I guess hygienic, right? She's going to be... Yeah, I, I'm probably stereotyping here, but that works for me. Stats preset. Um, So we're going to flick through here. Now, I don't think I can go trouble to get... Oh, I can. Okay, cool. We probably don't want that. We want to get a nice sort of... um, A nice sort of even spread of stats. There is another one with high strength, which is violent. We probably don't want a violent mum. Well-rounded is obviously a good one. Well-educated. She's quite intelligent, charismatic. Yeah, all right, let's go with that. Well-educated. Cool. She's she's probably had a doctor's degree or something like that because that makes you smart, I guess. I don't know. All right, we'll go with um, little fella here. He's going to be called Bruce. I'll type it right. Bruce. Top color, green top. Bottom color, that's fine. Skin color, get a little Aussie sun on you. There we go. Hair color. He doesn't have any hair. Let's just blow some hair. 
There we go. You can have an Akubra as well. Ah, oh, man. Now I really want to get the dad Akubra. No, dad's the only one without an Akubra. Okay, body type. Oh, yeah. Let's give him a... Oh, let's give him a hoodie. There we go. That's intimidating. So what are we going to give this little fella? I reckon he's going to be a small eater. Yeah, that works. Well spoken. A brain box. Hyper. Yeah, see how, like, the kids... This kid's stats are different. they got names that, that work. Uh, I want to say it was pretty good dexterity. Hyper. Yeah, he's just going to be a spaz. Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. Bruce. We'll go uh, one boy, one girl. Hair color. You can have uh, brown hair. There you go. Um, I'm actually going to make it... Yeah, you're going to be courageous. You're actually going to be tougher than your brother. Rough and tumble still pretty good. Yeah, rough and tumble works. Yeah, all right. Traits courageous. Yes, we're happy with that. And what are we going to call her? We will call her Matilda. Perfect. M-A-T-I-L-D-A. -A. Walsing Matilda. Let's do it. All right, family name. The Bates. Get out of here. We're going to be the... McGillicuddy's. McGillicuddy's. McGillicuddy. That's our last name. Pet's name. What pet have we got? We got the majestic and beautiful horse. Can be used for travel. A dog. Pretty token. Cat. Kills rats. Goldfish. Reduces stress. Snake. Not really any other option, I don't think. We're going to get the snake. Pet's name for the snake is going to be called Dingus Jr. No, we don't want to play the tutorial. Get in there, McGillicuddy's. As I said, a bunch of Aussie battlers. Battling it out in the wasteland. Okay, so the game works... Uh, you basically can use WASD to move around, to, to scroll around everything. Uh, these are all your different sort of rooms, I guess. Um, and then you can sort of leave leave the vault. This is your vault. Each of your characters have um, some stats on the side here. When they get to red, that's when it's a problem. It's not the other way around where it runs out. It's the other way where when it gets to the end and it comes up red, that's when you've got a problem. All right, we've got something. Journal, we're alive. We're alone but strong. This is the family. For our records, and to whoever may find this in the future, Dingus, Sheila, Bruce, Matilda, and Dingus Jr. This place is in shambles. The amount of degradation here is worrying, but it's better than anything else we've had. We've had decide, uh, we have decided to try and tidy it up a bit and turn it into something special. At least we have a roof over our heads. Bloody hell, you sure do. Let's get into it. I'm going to get Sheila to come down here. So we, this is our workbench down here. So uh, Sheila, we can tell her to come down here. Move around with left click, and then I can right click to enter, in, interact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft an item, and the first thing, this is the hardest thing, like you want to get a sleeping bag down so everyone can sleep, but the thing is you could only get one down because you can only fit one in this new room. So what I'm going to do, I'm a little short on water, but I'm going to go out anyway, set up expedition. I'm going to send Dingus out with the hope that we find some cement because that's really what we want to find to start with. And I might send out Matilda with you as well. Yeah. So you can send them out on expeditions like this. This is basically the screen here and you can sort of drop waypoints with the left mouse button and it tells you how much water is required to go on these expeditions. And when they get to these places, they'll look and explore and usually find stuff to use. So right now I'm going to send them off to this farm. It's going to cost me three water, which is okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to equip a mask and equip... Uh, actually, I think the wood requires strength 10, but it's damaged 10 to 14. Yeah, so you can take that. Matilda, you won't be able to use that, so you need to use that and that. So the pipe itself required is strength 8, damage 8 to 12. That's if they get into any trouble. And obviously a gas mask because of the toxic wasteland. And we will send them both out. And so it's just going to be Bruce... And Sheila. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do first is I am going to create, come down here, craft item, and we're going to need a bed. Now, as we upgrade our workbench, we can craft more things, but for starters, we want it like an Aussie swag. Here we go. Throw this down here, mate. Get into it. There you go. I probably move that down there. Incoming radio transmission. So this, when they go out, you can press R to accept your radio transition, uh, radio transmission. Um, and they'll basically say what they found and stuff like that. So, hello, this is Matilda. We found a small farm out in the wasteland. Should we check it out? Yeah, hell yeah, get into it. So, they'll look into it, and then they'll radio back in and basically tell us what they find. If we can speed things up a little bit here. Second transmission comes in. Hi, it's Matilda. It looks like a small farm has some stuff that might be useful. Examine the items. Cement! Yes, we got it. That is huge. Getting cement in the early game is so important from what I found. Petrol can is good as well. So is water, of course, and food rations. Uh, plastic bottle. Uh, I mean, we got the room for everything, so let's just take everything. Now what we can do is we can make a second room, and we can fit a second bed in, which is going to be so much easier for sleeping. Now, Bruce needs to uh, get down here and make one more thing. We're going to craft another item, because he needs a place to do his business. So where can we chuck it? We'll chuck it over here, right next to the drinking water. That'll work. 
Now, the other thing that I like to do nice and early is uh, to create um, another water storage because when it rains we need to store the water right now you can see we've got 12 water but you can see we use the water for expeditions and for drinking and a bunch of other stuff as well so i'm definitely going to want to get that going these guys will come in here i don't know where matilda is uh uh dingus you forgot oh no there she is but you forgot about her all right don't let the toxins in sweet perception everything came up location searched one um and i will take all and i will confirm yes Perfect, so now what I'll do is I'll send Dingus down here and he will um, make the second room. We can go either side. Right now we'll just follow along here, I reckon. And what I can also do is I can rearrange the shelter uh, so I can click on the, the bed and I'll bring it down here. We'll, we'll put the sleeping quarters down below. I think that's a good idea. Um, so what we could also do is we can click on their portrait here to, and it puts in this little robot face. I'm going to do that for everyone. And basically, it makes them automated to a certain extent, where we still have to manage everything, but they'll poop, they'll pee, and they'll eat, and all those basic things that um, we generally tend to remember to do most of the time. Uh, they'll do all that on their own, so you don't have to worry about all that mediocre, boring stuff. You can just manage about all the other. You can worry about managing all the other stuff. So we click on Sheila. She's pretty good at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a second sleeping roll going. Now I'll put it up here so she can craft it. Then we'll throw it down there in the sleeping area, of course. And if we click on Bruce, you can see he's getting pretty tired as well. Unfortunately, the bed is taken, and it's only one per bed. These are all things that we're going to want to make sure we um, are taking care of. So let's have a look. We've got thirst, water, obviously, hunger, food, uh, tiredness, which is these sleeping bags, toilet, which is our little uh, deluxe can over there, which seems to need to be changed, and uh, dirtiness, which of course comes from the showers. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get Bruce and we'll craft an item and we need to get a shower, the old family shower. We'll string it up somewhere. Oh, we can't fit anywhere. We'll put it down here so you can shower before going into bed. That's always a good thing, right? Now we can click on this um, little clipboard here, open clipboard, and it tells us the integrity of all our things. Our generator, our oxygen filter, and our water filter are all very important. We can see our oxygen filter's up here. Its integrity is at 60%. So what we'll do is we'll send Matilda over here to take a suit. Well done. Jump up there. And I want her to fix that there. There we go. There's a lovely deer. Later on in the game, you can set traps and basically catch these animals and use them for food. I've never actually gotten that far myself. Uh, so everyone seems to be pretty good. She's going to fix that. Then we're going to want to fix the water filter as well. I also, as I said, I want to get another second water bucket up. But we really need to move this bed down here. So let's fast forward just a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Ah, oh, a little bugger jumped into it. What are you doing, you turd? Okay, let me rearrange. Can I rearrange while he's sleeping in there? Yeah. Took it. Excellent. I'm not done with you yet, little fella. You gotta work before you go to bed. So I'm gonna drop my water down here. And what this is gonna do is right now we can store up to 30 units of water when it rains. Ah, it's raining right now. When you're finished there, Matilda, I'll get you over here and you can fix that. Man, she's going to town up there. She is the hardest working member of this family. All the parents have buggered off sleeping and Matilda's up there just tapping away, fixing stuff up so we survive. All right, so we can see our oxygen filter's integrity is now uh, up to 100%. She's fixing the water filter right now, and then we'll work on the generator. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can click on um, on these here, and we can upgrade them. So there's a couple of different upgrades that we can do. Efficiency, which is increases the efficiency of water filtering. We need some more leather for that, so we can't do that right now. Durability, which increases the durability. Obviously, doesn't break down as fast. That's a good one. And decontamination, it increases the rate at which the water filters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with that one there so we can fill up our uh, water tanks a little bit quicker. Uh, so Sheila, I think we're going to send Sheila out on another expedition. Uh, Dingus is still sleeping, which is fine. She'll just go on her own. And uh, we've already checked out the small farm, so let's go check out the uh, small house. How much water is that? Only three water. I kind of wanted to go around and do it all. But, oh, well, let's see if we can make a backpack or something first. So that she can have enough. Is there such a thing? Is there something to increase her, uh, like a backpack? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe satchel. Oh, okay, cool. In tier two. All right, well, why don't we... No, we'll just send you out one place. All right, so there you go. Just her, and she can go check out the small house. Take a gas... Well, not that many gas masks. Just one, mate. Just one. All right, Matilda's coming down. She is... Well deserving of a rest as well. She is sleepy. Oh, here we go. We got a radio transmission. Sheila, I found a small house in the wasteland. Should I check it out? Check it out for sure. After you've had a water, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to upgrade, Bruce. I'm going to get you to upgrade to the second tier workbench, I think. Yeah. Nails, tan. Yeah, we can do that. We can afford that. Uh, no, Matilda, you should have got out of your friggin' hazmat suit. Oh, well. All right, let's see what we found. 
Oh, this is Sheila. It looks like the small house has some stuff. Might be useful. Check it out. Sweet. Some food. Some plastic. Is that more cement? Yeah, more cement and batteries. Awesome. We can also see our generator right now, its integrity is pretty low. So what I'm going to do is I'll get Dingus to go and fix that. Other than that, we're pretty good right now. We're looking pretty good. we got heaps of water. Ah, uh, oh, sweet. Location search one. Take all. Yes, please. Confirm. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Awesome. So we're on day three already. So where's she going? Where are you going? Ah, you're putting the stuff away. Well done. Okay, so what we kind of need here, I think, is a mop and bucket. Because we need to get a little bit of cleaning going on. So let's chuck that there. And I may even just rearrange the shelter quickly. I'm going to put the, the poop over here and I'm going to put the water over here. That makes more sense. Won't let me. We can put the water down here, I guess. That's fine. Alright, how long are these kids going to sleep? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, dude. That's my fault. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. You can go back. Go back to sleep. Oh, what a dick move. Oh, no. Don't piss the bed. Matilda. Oh, wake up. Matilda. Matilda, you need to pee. All right. Okay. We'll just keep sleeping. I think that's a pee symbol. Make sure you get up, please. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to the toilet. Right. Yes, that's the toilet animation. We sort of just sit there and rock back and forward. Uh, after that, we'll get you to clean the shelter a little bit. Oh, no. You could have finished the toilet. Okay, no worries then. This guy doesn't look like good news. Oh, he's walked right past anyway. Let's see what this bloke's going to do. Oh, no, she's a Sheila. Carolyn, she coming down. Ah, she's walking right past. She don't care. She don't care about us. That's fine. And our water's looking pretty good. So I'm going to actually send Dingus out on some expeditions, I think. We're going to go to the church, and then I'm going to send you off to the unknown, confirm. It's going to use a lot of water, but um, I think we'll be all right. Um, I don't really want to be using one gas mask like to just do short little trips if I can get away with it. So I will send him on a bit of a longer journey. Just getting out. You can take your hazmat suit off. You're going to go in that, aren't you? Okay. Well, hopefully we don't need that while you're gone. Are you going to the toilet again? Are you all right? Irritable bowel syndrome or something like that. Uh, here we go. Radio transmission. We found a church out in the day. Yep, that's perfect. Now let's have a look at what we can craft while we are waiting for them. We've got our tier 2 enabled. Makeshift toilet. Uh, we can start making actual beds, which is pretty cool. Maybe that might be the way to go. But, I mean, we've already pretty good with bed. I mean, we've got the sleeping under control right now. I wonder if there's uh, a snare trap. Okay. Maybe we could do a snare trap. Maybe catch some animals or something like that. That's pretty cool. But uh, move between levels. Very nice. Bucket toilet, tiny pantry. We can make some more gas masks, which is probably needed, to be honest. Yeah, okay. Let's make some more of those. Okay, radio transmission. Examine items. What have you found? Limestone, a light bulb, pipe... Burnt clothes, wood, and nails. Okay. All right, we'll take it all. They don't need it. I want to get some more upgrades running on these things up here as well. So that's actually a really good point. So after she's finished making that gas mask, let's get it upgrade here. We've got the same sort of stuff, the output, durability, and resistance. Oxygen pumped into the shelter, allowing you to support up to six people in the shelter at once. Probably not a bad idea. We'll go with output because we will have people wandering in from time to time as well. There we go. We've got a radio transmission. So we've stumbled across a small petrol station. It looks like it might have some good loot. Want us to take a look? Yeah. Get into it. Oh, shh. Dude, 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 dude. No, 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 no. Sheila, 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 Sheila. Oh, you dumbass. Get down here. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill... Ah, dingus to base. Yes, examine items. We've got a problem here, dingus, and you're not here to sort it out. You're always out. Take all those goods. All right, so she's got radiation poisoning now. That was my fault. We were supposed to put a hazmat suit on. I told you things can go downhill really quickly. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I guess just go have a sleep. Yeah, just sleep it off. Sleep it off, girl. You'll be fine. All right, you get up here, little fella. You're going to have to take over because your mum's incapable of doing anything without being told exactly what to do. Antibiotics. Relaxants. Homemade antidepressant. Eh... Uh... Anti-radiation. Ah, oh, that might be what we need. Okay. 
Let's stop sleeping. Sorry, I'm going to send you up here and I'm going to take any rads. Oh my goodness, you're slow. And you're all blurry as well. Yet radiation made you blurry. Oh, she's walking so slow. Uh, look at the zombie. The breadwinners are back. Old mate Bruce is a little bit pissed that, that uh, Matilda got to go on the adventure and he didn't. Bit of a teenager. Location search, take all. Awesome. Okay, we're going to need to make some more storage here as well. Are you sure? Yes. Matilda, you're going to go to the toilet, I would assume. You're going to have a shower. Are you? Wow, you need to pee, you need to poo, and you need to eat. I'm not sure if that's the order you'll do it in, but... Okay, we can make another room. That seems like it could be a good idea. Just to lay things out a little bit better. But I want to start looking at some of this tier 2 stuff. I want to start getting some of these traps up as well. We need rope. We need rope for all these traps. Tripwire, yeah, same thing. A freezer. Capable of storing 10 units of meat. Wiring, metal, hinge. Okay, so we need basically be, to be going on more expeditions. So for now, I think we're just going to... Craft a bunch more masks. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. So this is all good. We haven't gone out here. It's raining at the moment, so I'm actually going to send her on a bit of a round trip. We've got plenty of rain. Uh, you can equip one of those and equip one of those. I'm going to get you to walk, Bruce. We're going to get you to craft an item. Let's see what other storage options we have. Toy box. Uh, small crate. Small crate uh, with storage capacity of 20 slots. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work out well. Can we fit it up here? Yeah, we can. Nice. So where is our other crate? Is it that one there? Okay. Bruce is pretty buggered though, so make one more thing, mate. Then you can go to bed. Okay, so it looks like all the things have the deconstruct option as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this sleeping bag. Oh, that's actually for someone to do. Okay. We'll get Dingus to... Before I deconstruct it, I'll make sure that I can make a bed. Um, I wonder if they sleep... Yeah, I can. Okay, so let's deconstruct and see if I get any of the materials back. That'll be interesting to see. It's deconstructed the bed with a blowtorch. Dude, that is not safe. Oh, sweet. We got some rope from that. Nice. We can set up a couple of traps. You're going to be a hunter-gatherer, mate. Today we're making traps. No, don't go upstairs. You don't need to. You're making a bed. Look it down there. There you go, mate. You're going to go up and then come back down, aren't you? You're seriously going to... Uh -huh. You are... Uh, this is what happens when you set their intelligence to, to zero or one. So, incoming radio transmission. Oh, yes. Let's see what you got. Oh, man. More than we can carry. Okay. Um, wiring sounds good. Let's take some wiring. Um, I'm going to take the food, obviously. I don't know if we have any duct tape or pliers. Water, we're good for. Water and fuel are okay. Glass jar. Limestone, I'm okay with. Gas mask we can make. Because remember, we still got one more stop on the way. So, yeah. I'm okay. We'll just take that stuff. There we go. Incoming radio transmission. Yep, search the location. Mate, you can go to bed. Dad, we are... What are you doing, bro? Oh, okay. No worries. You're fine. Do that. Let me know when you're done. Uh, because after you're done, we're going to set up some traps. We're going to try and get some real... Oh, what are we going to do first, though? We're going to take a suit. Examine items. What did we find? Ah, oh, awesome. More food. I don't need the water bottle. The hinge. That's exactly what we need. We needed that for something. What do we need that for? Um, yeah, okay. Confer. Oh, do I want the sand or the nail? Huh. Tough choice in post-apocalyptic future. Sand or nails? What do we want to make with the hinge? I saw that before. Was it the extra storage? No, it's the freezer. That's right. So that we can store the meat. Okay, so let's uh, set a... Tr no, like this one... Uh, let's try this. A nylon wire attached to a piece of wood. Trip wires are used to arm traps inside the shelter. Traps can only be armed whilst raiders are trying to break in. Right, well, we're not trying to catch raiders. Snare trap. Harvest animals and so... Okay, so yeah, that's what we want. We want a snare trap. Um, but we're going to take a suit first. Did you eat? You didn't eat! Just bring it with you. I'm not sure if this sleeping is faster or not. That'd be interesting to see whether the bed, they sleep faster. Okay, go up here. No, go here. Craft item. Oh, what? We can't do it. But we got rope from the sleeping bag. Did we not? Huh. Did we use it? No, we didn't use it for the bed. I swear we got some rope from the... Oh, we got nylon. It's different to rope. Okay. Well, that's dumb. Bulletproof vest. Goodness gracious. Why the hell would we need one of those? Eh, that doesn't sound good. I don't know. I think more water storage might be a good idea. 
Just because we've got the materials to do it, so why not? We want to have as much water as we can. Now he's wearing his stupid suit, though. I'm going to wear it around everywhere. The fan of Breaking Bad, obviously. I think someone's wandering down. Okay, we've got a weirdo coming in. Douglas! Now the intercom. Douglas, hey, that's a nice shelter you have there. How's about I hop in there and join you? Oh. Well, we could use the extra set of hands. We've got the water, we've got the food to do it. Douglas, welcome aboard. And that's kind of an Aussie name. Welcome, Douglas. Let's read our journal entry about Douglas. I personally wasn't too sure about letting Douglas stay with us, but I guess we should give people a chance. More hands around the shelter can only be a good thing. Douglas seems quite positive, which is what we all need right now. Oh, I think finding us has given him hope that there still might be a future left for us all. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Do -do -do. I should have weapons checked him or something before he walked in. Hopefully Douglas doesn't turn out to be a murderer. Well, he's just coming here for a, for a shit. Okay. Hey, cool. Yes, we've got heaps of storage now, which is fantastic. Confirm. That is brilliant. Well done. Okay, and with that expedition, I think day five is a pretty good place to leave that one there for now. So we've survived up to day five. We've got heaps of water on the way. Kids are sleeping. We'll keep her voice down a little bit. Mum's showering right next to him. And Douglas has taken a poop in our toilet. So really, all in all, that's uh, things have worked out pretty well, I guess. <laughs> oh, there's a little rabbit. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, if we had some rope. We would be catching you right now. You little bugger. Run. But anyway, uh, yeah, so if you guys have enjoyed Sheltered, then please do leave a like rating right below, or uh, let me know in a comment if um, you want to see more of this, or if there's another game that you guys love me to check out. Uh, but this game's pretty fun. We'll see how many uh, days we can survive with our little Aussie Battler family. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy. To start things off, I'm going to cast it at, uh, I'm going to cast it for real. 70%, that's a pretty good chance. So let's go for it. There you go. Okay, 90% dwarf. I could dwarf on dwarf. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right.